Good morning, Colorado Nerd Fighteria. It is June-ish, and this is in fact a video blog. So, as you know, today I am coming to you often this week to make up for the fact that I will not be vlogging for a month, and I have been really bad about vlogging for a really long time now, which... I have excuses for some of them, some of them I was just lazy. For our competition today, since we haven't had one in ever so long, I will think of a number. This number is between 1 and 10. Okay. Okay, I have it. So, guess. Okay. It was, in fact, 7. So, if you guessed it right, leave it in the comments. If you didn't, leave it in the comments as well. And then whoever got the closest, or if you got it, you will win a piece of soap at the next Nerd Fighter gathering that I'm at. So anyway, for the next couple of weeks, I am going to be in Hungary, which is in Eastern Europe, where uh, things, things happen there sometimes. Also, I'm going to be around that area. I'm going to be at the Adriatic Ocean. Ooh, I have a tongue twister for you. Okay. Now, this one's kind of hard. It's Irish wristwatch. You have to say as many times as you can, as quickly as you can. Irish wristwatch, 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 Irish wristwatch. I've not yet mastered this, but maybe you will. I was thinking, it's been such a long time since we had a good old fashioned comment high five, but it seems like we've missed so many, I want to do something special. So I not will just, I was thinking, I won't just hypothetically touch your hand or their net. I will hypothetically touch your butt. That's right, we're hip bumping. That went well. I feel warmed. So warmed. So yeah, come and hit butt me. Let's have some fun here. Okay, so I have decided to pick out a wilderness survival card of the day. Here, out of it. <clears throat> Your companion has stopped breathing. What should you do? Hmm. If I were them, I would make sure they're not a vampire and then bury them. Okay, so, if they're unconscious, a spinal injury is unlikely. Roll them onto their back. Raise their chin and tilt the head back to open the airway. Pinch the nose shut, put your mouth on theirs, or use a safer pocket rescue mask and blow air gently into their lungs. What, are they afraid you're gonna get herpes or something? Okay. If their chest rises, the airway is clear. If not, clear it. Slowly blow in two full breaths, then check for a pulse. If there is a pulse, continue giving them one breath every five seconds, four seconds for a child, until they recover. If there is no heartbeat, perform CPR repeatedly, giving 15 compressions and then two breaths. Once every minute, check for a pulse. When your companion recovers, have them checked by a doctor as soon as possible. This is a very hopeful and optimistic card. I mean, if someone's told me, your companion has stopped breathing. I would be like, I think, I, I don't, I think, I mean, I think there's a pretty good chance that they are dead, but this car doesn't seem to weigh that option. Arrivederci.